Time for your health check. We told you in Speed Feed about LeBron James' son, Bronny, who suffered cardiac arrest during basketball practice. During a cardiac arrest event, the heart suddenly stops beating, preventing blood flow to the brain and other vital organs. Here's what you should know about it when it comes to young athletes. Sudden cardiac arrest is the number one cause of death at school, and a student athlete dies from it every three days. That's according to the American Academy of Pediatrics. Thousands of kids in North Texas are taking physicals right now for fall sports, cheer, and marching band. The UIL, the governing body for Texas high school sports, requires all coaches to be CPR certified, and each school must have an AED. The UIL publishes a sudden cardiac arrest awareness form, and when you fill out the medical history form, there is an option to obtain additional cardiac screening. You can check a box to obtain an ECG, which records the electrical signal from your child's heart to check for different conditions. Schools can help with scheduling the electrocardiogram, but they are not required to do so. When something like this happens, it is crucial to know how you perform CPR. So a reminder of those steps, call 911, send someone for help. That is number one. You check the person's vitals. If they're unresponsive, it is time for CPR. Make sure they are laying flat on their back, then put one hand over the other on the middle of their chest and start doing compressions. So 100, 120 times per minute. And you have to push down two inches every time. So you should be out of breath when you're doing this. I know that's what I learned when I got trained. You do not need to worry about mouth to mouth breathing. That's something that they've cut out, especially for people who are uncomfortable doing it. You just need to start those compressions. So if you want Training Cook Children's is offering a free CPR and AED course at the Prosper location today from one until three o'clock. We're told they also educate participants on car seat safety, drowning prevention and safe sleep. So Greg, that's what I always learned when I did a story on this. I could not believe how winded I was in performing CPR. And when we had the training here a few months ago uh -huh. over in the studio, it's amazing how hard you actually have to push. Don't you be know? scared now. Yeah, don't be scared. Actually, that's what they were telling us. <laughs>